The man with a plan, Pat Pagano. Good morning, Pat. And hello there, Marshall. How are you on this morning? Good. You get my quick response to your email request this I morning? I sure did. Thank you very much for that. That's, who we, uh, that's who we use. They're, they're, they're reasonably priced, and... Uh, and and they're good. They're 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 they're, they're follow up and and their uh, their support is very good. Okay, well that's great. I already forwarded uh, that to uh, uh, the owner of uh, the radio station. So um, it's an internet radio station, mm-hmm. obviously, and it's not it's commercial free. Okay. So there's no commercials, and uh, uh, you know there's it's just a really really nice uh, internet radio station that um, that plays everything. Plays everything from big band uh all the way on up to the current hits and and it's just all mixed up and uh you know we've had a very nice relationship for the past three years and uh i feel bad for him because again uh that's not his prime thing this is a side thing he uh, works in advertising full time he makes no money off the radio station at all so he's just trying to keep it afloat because so many people enjoy the music you know it's hard today as you well know uh marshall to find music on the radio uh, that goes back to uh, the 40s and 50s. No, you're absolutely right. We uh, we have we actually have uh, shows that do that. We we yeah. have, we have we have two sh- we have two shows that do that. We have matter of fact a show that that even plays music from the 30s and 40s. It really, and that is just so fabulous. I like you know I just like hearing different music. Yeah, that's that's uh, it's, it's just, that's the way we plan the station. We, everything from classical to brand new rock music to uh, we even have a show, Larry Crack, uh, uh, nothing but old 45s. He plays nothing but 45s from the uh, from the 40s, 50s, 60s, and 60s. So, Boy, that I is just good. That is just now, great. Now, uh, I play Baby It's Cold Outside this morning because Baby It's Cold Outside this morning. Mm-hmm. It is, and it's going to be a cold day. Uh, low 40s, but sunny and no wind. It was windy in New York yesterday. You were right, and it was chilly. I, I told you, yeah. It was, it was bitter. It was bitter with that wind blowing. When the wind wasn't blowing, it wasn't bad. But when the wind was blowing, uh, it was definitely bitter. No doubt about that. Tonight will only be the mid-20s, and then clouds come in tomorrow, mid-40s. Rain comes in tomorrow night. Upper 30s. Windy and rainy, but 50 to 55 Friday. So it's going to be even warmer, but some of the rain heavy at times on Friday. Moving into Saturday, rain will taper to showers, 45 to 50. And your Sunday is fair. With high temperatures, you know, right around 40 degrees should not be a problem. Uh, Still a 20% chance that we'll get some snow showers Christmas Eve. Um, It doesn't look like much, at least from what I can tell right now. So we're going with that. And um, other than that, it was was a very, very nice little uh, Christmas party that that I threw for for my uh, religion class. And I have to tell you that I have, I was taken back. Because I did not expect uh, gifts. They got you gifts. St- they got you the gifts. There you go. Yep. Now, how? Now, uh, th- th- tell that to your friend. How stupid would you have felt by getting gifts and not giving gifts? Yeah, exactly. Uh, so that was really, really nice, and and it all worked out um, uh, pretty well. You know, we did a trivia game, Christmas trivia game. Um, you know, they were eating, they were drinking, and they were talking about what they what they were expecting for Christmas. You know, and I remember now these are seventh graders, so it's not like uh, you know talking to a uh, a third a third grader. No, you no. know, they don't believe in Santa Claus, so uh, that's one thing. And um, and then I timed it out just perfect. I had a video that I found called "Come All Ye Faithful." Uh, I'm going to send you the link to it, Marshall. It is done beautifully, um, and uh, pretty much. Um, how it opens up, you see a house completely decorated, all in Christmas lights, beautiful. And a girl goes up, rings the doorbell, steps back, the door opens, lady appears, and she begins to sing, Oh, come all you faithful. And the lady is in awe. And then a violinist uh, joins her. And as the video goes on and the song goes on, more of her family comes out to hear this and, and, uh, and look at them. Uh, more and more musicians join and more and more neighbors open their doors and listen and uh the whole thing just you know everybody the whole thing just big crescendo uh toward the end and of course uh the the message there is please keep christ at christmas and as soon as the video ended three minutes later the bell rang and they all ran out so it was perfect and they had a good time 
had a lovely time. Everybody kept one running out. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Say to you. Okay. Now I went to a new uh, restaurant in, in New York. It's an Italian what? restaurant. Okay. Sessa. I, I I think that's what it's pronounced. C e uh, c c e s c a. Uh, and uh, it's uh, on the west side. Uh, I think it's Cecilia. Cecilia, yeah. Cecilia. All right, Cecilia. All right, whatever. It was good. It was really good. Uh, really. It was the first time they they had just uh, opened for brunch. They'd been open for uh, for 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 uh, lunch. They didn't. They had never been open for lunch. So they they were they were open for lunch, and they're just getting used to it. So they offered a free glass of wine to everybody. They offered mm-hmm. free dessert to everybody at the end. Uh, I, I, we, I, I, I reneged. I didn't do it, but I had g- g- great dishes. I mean, very, very good dishes. Very, very good. Very good. So if you're ever and, in, around 75th Street. And uh, were they playing Christmas music? They had Christmas trees up. It was really, it was nice. Yeah, absolutely yeah. they were. Very festive. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah. It was, a, they call it an upscale Italian bistro. Okay. I don't know. Uh, that sounds good to me. Yeah, it was nice. I, 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 they'd been around, they'd been around for a long time, but they're a dinner time place. But uh, it was a nice lunch. So now, when can we expect snow again? Well, again, aside from the mention of no, snow showers I mean, that we real mentioned snow. on uh, Christmas Eve, I mean real snow. I think you have to wait until late next week. There will be a significant storm late next week, but again. As I stressed in my long-range forecast, it's not going to be just all snow. Uh, so it's going to be, uh, it's probably going to be a, another complicated storm. Complicated storms, just what we need. Yeah, yeah you know, uh, it, it, that's what I see right now, down, For, coming that, down so, the pike. So it sounds like that, that uh, New, Year's, New, New Year's Eve going to be clear and everything like that? Uh, it looks to me like, yes, uh, that we should be okay then. Um, I'm hoping. I'm, I'm sure hoping, but uh, it's really far out to to uh, you know to to be sure on that. But it certainly does look like there will be some stormy weather headed this way late next week. Stormy weather. Um, yes. <laughs> um, and that's it. The other thing that I had to tell you, and I know Marshall's going to go right online to look this up. It's called Osmo. Osmo. O S M O. Yes, it is a pocket video camera. And uh, it shoots up to 4K. And you can hook up your cell phone to it uh, and use your cell phone as a monitor. Or you can even, uh, you know, hook the cell phone up. And as you're taking video, you could e- immediately share it uh, because it's connected to it. It is just the most little incredible. T- I bought it for myself for Christmas because it's a little too pricey to ask anybody to get it for me. So I bought it for myself for Christmas, and I figured when I go on vacation, I could put it in my pocket, and I don't have to worry, and it works on a memory card, and uh, no batteries. How, how do you chart. spell it? O-S-M-O. Oh, I don't see anything like that. You don't? No. How could you not? It comes up with all those other goofy air. Introducing the DJI Osmo. That's it. Uh, yeah, now I found it. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, um, and I received it a couple of days ago. I have not had a chance uh, to uh, Amazon. test it out. Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, on, it's on Amazon. Yeah, how it's much, all over how the much place. Did you, pay you can for buy it, it anywhere. How much did you pay for it? I paid uh, three fifty. Two thirty nine. You kidding? DJI Osmo handheld, fully stabilized, four K, twelve MP camera. Price two hundred and thirty nine dollars. Wait a minute. Maybe maybe I paid I think I paid two fifty. Okay. Two fifty. Two fifty. Two fifty. Right. So that's not bad. You're right in you're right in the ballpark right. then. Right in the ballpark, yeah. I got it from um, where I get most of my video stuff on B and H. Just still photos and everything like that? Everything, yeah. It is you know, once once they test it out, I mean I saw the uh, uh, the video on it, uh, and they gave it some pretty good reviews. So once I test it out, I'll let you know. And if any of our listeners are interested, you know, uh, uh, then they could uh, hop online and get it. But uh, I certainly think, you know, for, for my purposes, it'll be great. I may even be able to use it to uh, uh, as, a second, as a second camera when we do our movies. All right. It looks good to me. Yeah, I figured you'd like it. Yeah, it looks good to me. 
I'll I'll check into it for our uh, for our local access TV station. Yeah, do that because they, they they use them in drones, so uh, they have to be pretty good. All right, Alrighty, so uh, Marshall, we won't uh, drone, we won't drone on, and I'll speak to you tomorrow. That is correct. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, Pat, take care. Bye, Marshall. Uh, Pat Pagano this morning in the Weather Center with a check, of course, on our tri-state forecast here on Robin Hood Radio.